Welcome back artists. In the preceding video I showed you how I quick sketched this Canada Goose. I'll keep I'll put a link to it at the end of this video so that you can see it and review it again. But now I'm going to take it to the next step which is colored in with watercolors. And I'm going to use some watercolor graphite which I really like to help establish my values. I really like the use of watercolor graphite to help establish my values. Values refers to relative light and dark. Now Canada Goose has this black uh, neck and head with this white patch on his throat area, white breast and a little white patch on the back end, and it's brown across the back and a little bit lighter tan underneath. I'm going to just stick with a nice simple design here. Now as I had envisioned this, thinking this through, how I would color it in, a big sun here. Not quite sure what color yet, I'll make that up in just a moment, but that'll keep a nice simple design. I might put some trees across here a little bit. To, I want to be mindful of where my source of light is. And like I said, this is watercolor graphite. This is not a paint. This is graphite, just like your number two lead pencil. What I'm doing here is capturing the dark areas. I found this very useful in my watercolor paintings. Add in this extra step. This is not the traditional way you would handle watercolors. Watercolors, you typically go from light to dark. But I add in this initial step where I'm just thinking about lights and darks. Being mindful of where my source of light is. And again, it's going to be up here above the head of the, the goose. Okay, that's looking pretty good for my watercolor graphite. So I'm going to shift to a dark blue. This is Prussian blue. There's a light little bit of cerulean blue, golden brown on the bottom. Let's bring a line of trees across here. Um, this is viridian that I'm using. And sap green, the lighter, more yellowish green is sap green. I need a little more Prussian blue here too to darken the base of the tree line over here. Loosen up the trees a little bit. Just basically means paint outside the lines. Let's scrape a few trees through here. Okay, there's our trees. It may seem odd that I put red in it, but actually that's by design. Red is the complementary color to green. Complementary colors are colors that are opposite one another on the color wheel. When you put them next to one another, like I did here, they strengthen one another, make one another more vibrant. When you mix them, they go to more of a neutral color. As you can see, a little bit here and there where it was still wet when I dropped the color in. All right, let's have our setting sun here now. All right, there's our setting sun and sky. Now let's splash the sun down here in the water where the reflection is at. And there we are, our finished Canada Goose. We've got our nice bright sun in the background, the tree line, and then the goose, and the fun with the water reflecting everything above it. Please give me a thumbs up, please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.